Here's an example involving the magnetic torque on a current carrying coil. A square coil is made of 10 turns with sides 4.47 centimeters and carries a current of 1.5 amperes in the direction indicated. The coil is placed with one side along the z-axis and inclined at 26.5 degrees from the x to the y-axis. What are the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic moment of the coil? What is the magnetic torque on the coil if it is in a uniform magnetic field of 5 milliteslas that points 160 degrees away from the x-axis? And the magnetic field has no z component. What is the magnetic torque on the coil if it lies in a magnetic field of 5 i hat minus 5 j hat plus 5 k hat millitesla? The first thing we are going to do is to copy the diagram. And because this diagram isn't really useful, what we are going to do is we are going to redraw the picture in two dimensions. So we're going to redraw it with the z-axis pointing out of the computer screen towards us and the x and the y-axis as is. Now the trick, if you're not sure from which axis to redraw these diagrams, is that you should always draw it with an observer along the axis where the loop is hinged. So imagine a trap door that's opening and the hinges on the trap door in this picture would be on the z-axis and so that tells us where to put our observer. And I'll indicate that I've put my observer along the z-axis with a little eye. The eye sees the current going into the page along the z-axis and on the other side it sees the current coming out of the page. So the current into the page is indicated with a cross and the current out of the page is indicated with a dot and I've also redrawn the angle of 26.5 degrees. Now we need to place the magnetic moment. In order to find the direction of the magnetic moment all you need to do is wrap your fingers along the current so your hand has to be sideways, your fingers have to stick out in the upper right hand corner and they need to curl back in at the origin and you see that your thumb points down and to the right so we're going to draw the magnetic moment vector pointing down and to the right and at 90 degrees to the loop like this now the next step will be to calculate the magnitude of the magnetic moment vector. The magnitude of the magnetic moment vector is given by n, the number of turns, multiplied by the current, multiplied by the area of the coil. 10 multiplied by 1.5 amperes, multiplied by 0.0447 meters, the whole thing squared, is 3 times 10 to the negative 2 amperes meters squared for the magnitude of the magnetic moment. Now let's find the direction. The coil is inclined at 26 and a half degrees from the x-axis. I've redrawn that angle alpha above the horizontal in the middle of the loop. Now the angle of the magnetic moment is 90 degrees away from the loop. So the angle between the magnetic moment and the x-axis is 90 minus 26 and a half degrees. That angle must be negative because it's a clockwise angle from the x-axis and so that makes the direction of the magnetic moment minus 63.5 degrees. Now let's find the torque on this loop in a magnetic field of 5 milliteslas at 160 degrees. The magnitude of the torque is given by the magnetic moment multiplied by the magnetic field multiplied by the sine of the angle between the magnetic moment and the magnetic field. To figure out what that angle is I have redrawn mu and b I've indicated that mu was at minus 63.5 degrees from the x-axis. I've indicated that b is at 160 degrees from the x-axis. And we see that the smallest angle between mu and b is actually the angle on the other side. 
So, if there's 160 degrees from the x-axis to b, then there's 20 degrees from b to the negative x, and if there's minus 63 degrees from, from the x-axis to the magnetic moment, then there's 116.5 degrees on the other side. This makes the angle between the magnetic moment and the magnetic field 20 plus 116.5. That is 136.5 degrees. The magnitude of the torque vector is 3 times 10 to the negative 2 amperes meters squared multiplied by 5 times 10 to the negative 3 tesla multiplied by the sine of 136.5 and that makes the magnitude of the torque 1.03 10 to the negative 4 newton meters. To find the direction I place my hand along mu, rotate my hand so that my palm faces B so that I can bend my fingers in the direction of the magnetic field and my thumb points into the page so in the negative Z direction. The direction of the torque vector is therefore in the negative k, or into the page, and the rotation of the loop will be clockwise. To find the torque that is caused by the magnetic field that has an x and a y and a z component, we are going to need to do a cross product with the components of the magnetic moment vector. So we can calculate those components by taking the magnitude, 3 times 10 to the negative 2, multiplying by the cos of negative 63.5 i hat. To get the x component and to get the y component, we take 3 times 10 to the negative 2 and multiply by the sine of negative 63.5 j hat. And we get 1.34 i hat minus 2.68 j hat, 10 to the negative 2 ampere meter squared. To calculate the torque, what we need to do is find the determinant of the matrix that has on its first line the unit vectors i, j, and k. On the second line, the components of the magnetic moment vector, 1.34, 10 to the negative 2 ampere meter squared, and negative 2.68, 10 to the negative 2 ampere meter squared, and 0. And on the third line of the matrix are the components of the magnetic field vector, 5 millitesla in the x direction, negative 5 millitesla in the y direction, and 5 millitesla in the z direction. The x component of the torque is given by the y component of the magnetic moment multiplied by the z component of the magnetic field minus the y component of the magnetic field multiplied by the z component of the magnetic moment negative 2.68 10 to the negative 2 times 5 times 10 to the negative 3 minus minus 5 times 10 to the negative 3 times 0. The x component of the torque is negative 1.34 times 10 to the negative 4 newton meter. Now you know the mnemonic is to multiply the two numbers that you meet on your way diagonally down from the i hat and to subtract the multiplication of the two numbers that you meet going diagonally up on your way to i hat. The y component of the torque is 0 multiplied by 5 times 10 to the negative 3 tesla minus 5 times 10 to the negative 3 tesla multiplied by 1.34 10 to the negative 2 ampere meters squared. The total is minus 0 0.670 10 to the negative 4 newton meters. Finally, for the torque in the z direction, we have 1.34 10 to the negative 2 ampere multiplied by meters squared times negative 5 times 10 to the negative 3 tesla minus 5 times 10 to the negative 3 tesla multiplied by negative 2.68 10 to the negative 2 ampere meter squared and the z component of the torque is 0 0.670 10 to the negative 4 newton meters so we have our result for the components of the net torque and that three-dimensional magnetic field. Here is the solution on two pages. Spread the joy of physics and practice some cross products.